Hello. Hey. We're back. Well, after a couple of episodes of working in the yard, we're back inside with the next remodel project. We're giving new life to an antique cabinet and hutch that totally transforms the entryway. And we even have a surprise visitor to the cabin. Come along. We've got to work it out for us. <laughs> <laughs> this guy <laughs> but before we get started that's Todd and I'm Rob we're husbands remodeling our charming cabin in the North Georgia mountains that we bought six months ago we've been making this place our own with everything from bold paint choices to raised garden beds tag along as we document our remodeling progress along with our number one fan Wally we're posting remodel updates and mountain escapades frequently and we're just getting started don't forget to subscribe and join us on the mountain Ain't nothing needed but us feeling right Just take a chance, we got a wild ride Wait and see, you and me, we were meant to be 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 Goodness, we have a little bird nest somewhere, and there's a little baby that's that are hungry. Yeah, they're probably kind of loud on the camera right now. Hey, we got our first bear sighting on camera the other day. I think it's adorable. I already want to name it. I want to call it Blue Bear. Walked right past our driveway. Right, no, walked right up our driveway, <laughs> right into Not our bear, <laughs> right into our basically right here where we planted all these flowers and all these videos. Um, we think it came down from the slope, like where the retaining wall is. I think it came down there because the video before it on the little motion camera showed its legs stepping over, and the next thing you know, it's walking past the retaining wall right up to our front porch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the nighttime trail cams around the house have been lit up with activity. Everything from raccoons to deer, now bear. We have all these different birds. Yeah, there's like seven birds singing right now above us. And there's squirrels. <laughs> and squirrels are less exciting. But they are kind of cute when they're like running towards the camera and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, our hostas were looking so, so good. Yeah. Well, they they got eaten when they first popped up. And then oh they didn't gosh. get eaten for like four weeks. And then all of a sudden we walked out one day and, and these gorgeous hostas were just like chop, 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 chop. And yeah. we had even planted chives and garlic they just haven't grown enough to be i yeah. guess a deterrent for the deer yet yep there were about three of them like just just milling around it was just like a little social hour right. that is one thing we've seen is the the big swarm of bees it reminded me like one of those old cartoons you know when the swarm of bees would like go and like find somebody and then they'd like <laughs> you have to hide underneath the the water with your like little bamboo shoot. What are you talking about? <laughs> Those cartoons. Oh, you cartoons. Like, <laughs> you, they would like run was... and jump into the water, and then the swarm of bees would come across the water and be like, "Oh, where'd they go? I don't see it. it just looks like a bamboo." Uh, I didn't miss the cartoon part. I thought you were talking like a like a rescue nine one one episode <laughs> or something where they're like, "Next, William Shatner comes out and goes, next on a dramatic rescue nine one one." Oh yeah, that, that's other <laughs> trauma coming up. <laughs> this is all cartoon, mind you, not real life. Oh, yeah. I've seen that on real life too, but that didn't work out so well. That was on Rescue Down 1-1. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> oh my god. Did y'all watch Rescue Down 1-1 when uh, it was on in the late 80s, early 90s? God, I remember it was it. equally like exciting to watch, but also slightly terrifying because you're like, yeah, that could you happen. Think of all the things that could happen <laughs> when you see it on that show. Put it on the, put it on the patio. <laughs> this is cracking me up. <laughs> well, Raleigh cracked it up. 
I love, love you. you. <laughs> All right, let's go make some dinner. What are we making? Let's go make veggie burgers, potatoes, and we'll do a little healthy salad to go along with it. Mm. <laughs> this guy over here. I just like my meat and potatoes. Oh, it's not my meat. Fake meat. <laughs> oh, I'm vegan, so whenever I buy veggie burger. I don't buy meat or anything, so he has to buy it himself if he wants it. So. That's right. Or I have to go and hunt it. <laughs> You're not I've hunting any. You're not hunting. <laughs> you are not. Did you see me? You, you are, are not. not going hunting. Girl, please. Thanks for joining us at this week's, this weekend's Happy Hour Porch Chat. I oh, need another name for her. Happy Hour Impromptu Porch Chat, but not impromptu. <laughs> looking out at the mountains, but not looking. But. Flower boxes on top of flower boxes. What he said. <laughs> <laughs>
from where this used to be placed in the old house that it came from, it was right up against the wall, correct? Yeah. So it is missing the entire right side if you're looking at it. So that's why we have this board. And what Todd is doing right now is trying to match the trim edge on the right side to match what it looks like over here. What I need to do is put a board on it like this. going to do that I'm going to start working on painting and if you remember in from I guess our first or second video we started painting our living room kind of a dark green Black evergreen. well no what I'm going to try to say is we actually actually bought vine leaf was the color and we hated it you'll remember that from one of our earlier videos but so what we're gonna do is we still have some of that left over. We'll use that as a primer or a base. So what you're gonna see going on first is not the color that it's gonna be eventually. Uh, we're just using the leftover vine leaf. And then we'll come back over and put a, a nice coat of black evergreen on top of it to match everything else that's in our living room. Conditioning, our stamina. Because one day we're gonna start running these hills. Yeah. One day. One day, one day. <laughs> While he's already motivating us. Yeah. He has boundless energy. <laughs> there we go. Go clean all your mud out. He's such a good boy.
Which one will it be? You want that one? You want that one? Which one? Ready? Oh, good. Okay, ready? Which one? Which one? That one? Okay, I'll we'll that one. <laughs> no. That one's my favorite too. Oh, I like the new can lights, the dimmer aspect, so we don't have to have them so bright all the time. Because they're not so bright. Oh yeah, turn on those overhead lights. The new track. Yeah. We need to touch up that paint tomorrow, by the way. And we need, to, oh God, we need to turn those. <laughs> That's the first time I've turned them on at nighttime. That's awful. That's so bright. <laughs> we turned all the lights on. <laughs> No. Bye. Hey, good morning. We're back. Well, I am. Todd's currently at the hardware store right now, so. But, here's where we stand at the moment. Also, this thing is way bigger than I was thinking it was gonna be, but I love it. And just wanna show you, Todd did a phenomenal job at closing in the entire right side. So if you remember, it was totally open because it was butted up against a wall, so there was nothing there. So Todd did a really good job of adding that piece on, adding the trim at the bottom. So it kind of replicates what you see on this side. So uh, today I'm gonna finish up painting the anything that's not green at the moment. So, and again, this is just the first coat. I'm gonna paint that trim green and we're gonna continue the trim across the top here, and then we're gonna run it across here as well, so. Which is why that's always been half painted, if you've noticed in any of the videos. We've tried to keep it out of, the, out of most of the shots, but I'm gonna paint the walls green as well. So on both sides, that'll be green all the way down there. The window seals will be green. Let's get to work. wainscoting, if you will, will continue to come across over here, and then it'll come right to here, and then stop. <laughs> Somebody's waiting for Todd. <laughs> you waiting for Todd? Yeah. Yeah, hey buddy. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually begin painting that entire wall just because it's still in the same room as the rest of this. And pardon our mess, everything's chaotic over here now. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna keep painting this wall at least, all black evergreen. <laughs> Todd's back. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so the top piece used to be built in on this place, or this cabinet. <laughs> and so what we're doing is, is just doing some trim work on it to finish up to make it look a little more finished. Do some trim work to make it look more We're trim. We're gonna finish it to finish make it, it look more finished. finished. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. I hate that vine leaf. Yeah, so that oh, is vine awful. leaf green. This now is black evergreen. Yeah. You can tell two different colors here, obviously. So vine leaf, don't like. Black evergreen, do like. Yeah. But now that we have the new black evergreen, Gonna look a lot better.
Just making myself pretty for the camera. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, we did something. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo. Not done yet, but I ran out of time. That's okay. What percentage have we completed? <laughs> um, I would say at least 75% of it. Yeah. I would give us 85, but we'll go with 75. <laughs> I'm going for the there's 5% that we're not accounting for. Oh, great. <laughs> 5% I didn't know about, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, um, but... Again, Todd's not giving himself enough credit. Mm -hmm. He did an awesome job. Ah. Yeah, so we're not completely done yet. Um, the, there was some glass breakage on the travels over. So um, there is a product um, Lexan um, that you can get from Home Depot, just cut it to size real easy, and then plug that in. So for temporary, it'll all look finished. But um, Todd's mm -hmm. already found some really good lighting that he's going to put in for, I guess, the LED strips. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, we, you won't be able to see the actual light from sitting down or standing up, but it'll be kind of hidden behind the the, um, the woodwork. We're going to clean up the hardware just a little bit. Uh, we tried some of the, the metal cleaner, I think it was Brasso or something like that, on this one just to see what it would do and uh, it looks pretty good. So we're going to do that to this one, as, to those three as well. And then and then also we'll eventually be changing out the hinges too, right? Yeah, that's the idea. I haven't found any because I want to find some antique ones that I like the East Lake, the, the ones that look kind of Art Deco almost. Um, they give you a lot of design, but they have those more minimal profiles. All right, well, like I said, we ran out of time on this video, so we'll pick back up on this in the next one. <laughs> and I think our number one fan is ready for us to take on him on another walk. We'll see how much energy we have. Anyway, we're gonna go celebrate because we officially made it to our 10th video. Had a lot to cover in our first six months here. Hop on over and check out our other videos if you need to catch up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and drop us a comment. We'll see you on the next episode.